In this next section, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step assembly of your model. Depending on how familiar you are with our models and how quickly you work, you can hit fast forward and speed through this assembly. If you've never put together a Getting Nerdy model, expect to go through this entire tutorial in anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. If you followed our advice from earlier and downloaded and printed off the instructions of the student PDF, you'll have everything you need to follow along this next portion of the tutorial. I'm literally going to read the instructions word for word. Again, you can speed this part up if you're familiar with our models. The glue dots you received in your envelope come in perforated sheets of 12 dots. The glue dots team has been kind enough to provide us with instructions on how to use their glue dots. Take a moment to read the instructions provided here. Press pause if you need to. Number one, find the eight appendages for your pig. Each one will be labeled as A1 through A4. Apply glue to the back of foot A1 and align it with the other foot labeled A1. Complete this process for each foot A1 through foot A4. When attached properly, you should be able to see the front and back surface of each foot. In cases where you see a little bit of the vinyl has torn along the edges of the model, you can always use a hobby knife or a pair of scissors to clean that up. Number two, find the head dorsal and head internal pieces. Apply glue to the back of the head dorsal and align it over the back side of the head internal. When applied properly, you should be able to see the top of the head and the inside of the mouth. Number three, find the head dorsal one. Apply glue to the back of the tab head dorsal one and attach the brain flap by tab head dorsal one over head dorsal. Number four, Find the jaw internal and jaw ventral pieces. Apply glue to the back of the jaw internal and align it over the back side of the jaw ventral. When applied properly, you should be able to see the underside of the neck and the inside of the mouth. Number five. Apply glue to the back of the tab jaw ventral one and attach the flap over the exposed neck structures on top of jaw ventral. You should be able to cover and expose the neck structures when attached properly. Number six, apply glue to the top of the tab jaw internal and align it over head internal. Attach the assembled jaw to the head internal. When attached properly, you should be able to open and close the mouth of the pig. Number seven, find the epiglottis. Apply glue to the top of the tab M and fold it under. Attach the epiglottis by tab M to M on the jaw internal. You should not be able to see the tab when applied properly. Locate the dorsal body and the ventral body and your assembled head and appendages. With ventral sides facing up, apply glue to the tabs of the jaw ventral and appendages A1 through A4. Align the ventral body pieces over the tabs where it says insert assembled head and insert appendages so that you are joining the pig head and legs together. Flip the entire assembly over and apply glue to the entire back of the ventral body piece, including the tabs of the newly attached legs and head. Align the dorsal body piece over the ventral body piece and press down. When applied correctly, you should have a completed pig and you should be able to look inside the brain flap, open and close the mouth, and reveal the neck structures of the pig. Number 9. Find the kidneys. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the kidneys by tab K over K on the ventral body.
Number 10. Determine the gender of your pig. If making a male, find the testes. If making a female, find the ovaries. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the testes or ovaries by tab R1 over R on the ventral body. Number 11. Find the digestive organs. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the digestive organs by tab O1 to O on the ventral body. Number 12. Find the respiratory organs. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the respiratory organs by tab O2 over O1 over the digestive organs. Number 13. Find the liver. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the liver by tab L to L on the diaphragm of the respiratory organs. Number 14. Find the heart. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the heart by tab O3 over O2 on the respiratory organs. Number 15. Find the thymus gland. Apply glue to the back of the tab and attach the thymus gland by tab O4 over O3 on the heart. Number 16. Locate the rib cage, thoracic muscles, and ventral skin flaps. Cut each in half on the solid line down the middle. Apply glue to the top of tabs T1 and T2 of the rib cage and the muscles. Starting with the rib cage on the bottom, align the muscles on top of the rib cage and the skin on top of the muscles. Apply glue to the top of the tab T3 and fold it under. Attach each assembled abdominal flap by tab T3 to T on the ventral body of your assembled pig. When applied correctly, you should not be able to see the tabs and the flaps should open and close like the pages of a book over the internal organs of the pig. Number 18. Find the appropriate reproductive organs external skin flap based on the gender determination. If your pig is male, find the external skin flap with the penis and scrotum. If your pig is female, find the external skin flap with the urogenital papilla. Apply glue to the top of the tab and fold it under. Attach the skin flap by tab R2 over tab R1 on the ventral body. Number 19. Find the umbilical cord. Apply glue to the top of the tab and fold it under. Attach the umbilical cord by tab U1 to U1 on the external skin flap. Voila! Your fetal pig model is complete. You can use this as a study tool to prepare for your exploration or as a virtual dissection in place of the real thing. It's getting nerdy with Mel and Gertie. Get ready for fun. Get ready for learning. Inspire your students in an interactive way. Life science.